If you are one of those guys planning to buy a new phone and is really confused whether to buy a phone running on Snapdragon or MediaTek chipset, this video is for you. As many of you think, Snapdragon and MediaTek are not just processors. They are called system on chips or SOCs in technical term. So what exactly is an SOC? It is a single chip which contains your CPU, your GPU, cellular modem, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth modules, etc. Now if you are wondering why your old phone doesn't support 4G, that's probably because it doesn't have the necessary radio sensors built within its SOC. So it is important to know what SOC is used in the smartphone you are planning to buy. The two leading SOC makers at the moment are Qualcomm with its Snapdragon range and MediaTek with its MT chipsets. So that leads us to our question, which SOC is better? To answer this question, we need to compare the chipsets and find out what's the difference between them. Considering the CPU, both Snapdragon and MediaTek processors are based on ARM architecture. It is an architecture that is designed primarily for low energy consumption. For example, a typical quad-core processor has two high-power cores for high performance and two low-power cores for low energy consumption. If both use the same architecture, what's the difference? The main difference is that MediaTek doesn't tinker with the architecture, whereas Qualcomm modifies the architecture to optimize its chipset for better performance and low power consumption. Considering the GPU, Qualcomm uses its own Arduino GPU in its chipset while MediaTek uses ARM's Mali GPU. Both the GPUs are great, but developers usually prefer Arduino to develop and test their games. So some apps and games will not be compatible with phones running on MediaTek's Mali GPU. When it comes to performance, there is no comparison since MediaTek concentrates mostly in the budget segment whereas Snapdragon on the other hand is the go-to chipset for all high-end phones. So how does Snapdragon chipsets achieve high performance? The secret is heterogeneous computing. Let me explain with an example. If we use the camera app on a Snapdragon chipset, there is a separate camera module that processes the images and this utilizes less battery. Whereas in MediaTek processor, both CPUs and GPUs are involved in image processing. This leads to more heat dissipation and faster battery drainage. MediaTek believes in profit from volumes rather than bigger profits from selling lesser units. This is what has made the company the go-to chipset manufacturer for low-cost handsets. On the other hand, Qualcomm Snapdragon is all about cutting-edge technology and are a bit pricier. Because of this, phone using Qualcomm chipsets are usually much more pricier than the MediaTek counterparts. So finally, which chipset is better? There is no simple yes or no answer for this. It really depends upon your usage and the price you are willing to spend. Go for MediaTek based devices if you are looking for a smartphone costing under 1200 rupees. On the other hand, when your budget is higher, going for a Qualcomm port smartphone is a better idea. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and for more videos, please hit the subscribe button below.